Canada Day in this province starts a little differently than in other parts of the country. We mark Memorial Day first. It's a time to remember the Battle of Beaumont Hamill and those lost in World War I. More than 700 Newfoundland Regiment soldiers were killed or wounded on July 1st in 1916. And on Saturday, hundreds gathered at the National War Memorial in downtown St. John's to pay their respects. I'm lucky I'm here. My father was in the 1st Regiment, 1st World War, and, but it was invalided out, in, out after Gallipoli and spent many months in the hospital before sending, being sent back here to St. John's. He missed Bowman Hamill, and uh, so that's why I'm here. He survived, so I'm one of his children. All those people that died in Bowman Hamill, I, I, I think of them because it could easily have been my father, but so I, I, I'm grateful that, you know, that uh, these people went over the top without thinking. They didn't stop. They went there. They were, they were told to go, and they went. But they made a big sacrifice. It's a very important day um, to us as, a, as an organization, to everybody in particular, because it was the day that uh, the Newfoundland Regiment suffered heavy casualties in the Battle of Beaumont Amel and the association in general had uh, a large number of members of its members served uh, that day in the battle. So it's very important uh, as Newfoundlanders to come out today to respect what they did for us to be here today. As an amateur historian I was just re reflecting on everybody that uh, you know the soldiers that served that day you know, the losses that they, you know, that they suffered was just uh, astounding. We had representatives here who laid a wreath for the organization. We're going to try and uh, keep up the tradition here. It's just great to see everybody out today that possibly could be out to uh, respect, respect those that suffered that day and, uh, and keep remembering where your papa. <laughs>